And so 112 minus 60 is, uh, that, that's uh, 58. <laughs> I am an elementary school teacher. Hi, I'm Caroline Hambright, and this is Brighter Days. Sometimes I like to make presents for my friends. I have a special one lined up for my friend Amy. You might remember her from Making the Terrarium. Well, she got this beautiful lamp, but then it broke. So she needs a lampshade so it doesn't look like she's a psychotic person with just a hanging wire with a just plain light bulb. We're gonna turn that lamp into something else because it is not safe as a lamp anymore. I'm cutting out the little middle hanger piece because I'm gonna need it for later. Okay. Get out of your, out. Come out. It is made of pain. I've never seen anything this root bound before. It's fine. So I'm gonna make her a lamp. She doesn't know. Shh. Okay, here, here we go. Don't you all just like have random piles of wood just like hanging out? I, I do. I, I suggest collecting. I wanna cut it into thin strips because I'm making like a box thing. Now I'm gonna use this one as a measure. I think this might be enough. Yay, it's time for math. Obviously, I'm very good at math. So, you know, golden ratio is like when things are broken up so that they look beautiful. It makes everything look nice. So I'm gonna make golden rectangles. The proportions for golden rectangles are one over like 1.618, like that. So I want my long side to be 15, so I just have to cross multiply. One times 15 is 15 divided by 1.618. It's 9.27 is the number. So my short sides need to be 9.27, so my long sides can be 15. I'm not bad at math. However, because of woodworking, this is actually going to be very different. We have to decide how the short pieces are gonna be put together. To make sure that each of these are 9.27 across, I have to subtract this amount and this amount right here. So that's three quarters of an inch. I have to subtract one and a half. Um, <laughs> I think that that's lucky indeed. I should probably check that math, or I could just start cutting. This is Heath. This is my new chop saw. It's very uh, old. It does not have a safety guard. That's a real nice golden rectangle. I have some very pretty boxes. I love math. I waited all the way till tomorrow. See, my shirt is different, uh, and I'm not wearing makeup anymore. Now I have to wait again till tomorrow. Patience. Oh. Good morning. Oh. Look at this beautiful creation I have made. I need a way to hang it. Dremel this off of the old lamp, so, cause this is like the exact right hole for the little pieces that hold it onto that hanging wire. I need to somehow mount this in there. Right in the middle. I realized after I put this in that when I put the paper in, it has to be glued to the side of this, but this part is blocking it on these sides. Because it's kind of drippy. It's already all over my hands. Would Ron Swanson be approving? Here we go. If you want to leave a comment about how I can be better at woodworking, please. I'm gonna deal with the paper. I found this. Try and find ones Amy will like. Uh, no. 
No. There's a place called Whiskey Town. No, no. Uh, ew, stop it. Sorry guys, but no. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. What I'm going to do is I need to create these little thin strips of glue exactly in the place where I want them. With some pieces of parchment paper that are gonna go underneath like this. You wanna make sure to use the side with the machined edge. So you're gonna cover up, so I'm doing kind of like a little quarter inch right there. So your glue you should have in a little puddle. I'm gonna make sure this is totally straight. And then I'm gonna hold it down with my arms. And you wanna use like more glue than you think not dripping, but also like you don't want it to dry. Quickly, quickly, remove this. The one underneath, you wanna turn it over or use another one. I know mine's not gonna stick to the table, so I'm fine. And then when we glue, we just have to like hold really tight and make sure you cover just what you glued and the straight edges so that you can make a tiny adjustment if you have to. Okay, then bone fold it so that it gets out any little tiny air bubbles. I just wanna go out like that. Got it all lined up so I do it just right. All right, now flat heavy things. You think this is enough, but it's really not. You wanna wait for like at least three hours. I'm gonna go babysit my niece now. Bye. Little tiny hiccups. Oh, it's okay. Can you fix that? <laughs> See if you can I fix that. I don't know anything. This is one thing I don't know anything about. This episode was supposed to be all about using math, and I blew it! I made these pieces too wide. Some of these are gonna have strips on the edges. So I'm just gonna have to just put it in and, and do my best. All right, what I'm going to do is use my straight edge and my bone folder to make a crease so it will fold very nicely exactly where I want it. Ever so nice. Yes. But now I really have to get the other ones to fit exactly right because this frame is a very specific size. I'll use math. Bye bye Cool, now how do I get it inside? <laughs> What if I just use double stick tape? I think I should glue the papers together first. Crap, I need another piece of... Crap, crap, crap. You usually want to be prepared before you get the glue out. Okay, here I go. Should, in theory, just go, um, should be a square. It should be folding exactly to a square. Ah, freaking out right now. This needs to be trimmed down. Oh God, okay, this is like mad surgery work that has to happen so fast right now. Okay, uh, measure, pencil, oh God. My glue's drying, oh my God. Ah. Get out of here, all right. Get out, go. Uh, Okay. Uh, we're gonna need more glue. All right, we're just gonna go for it. I don't even... <gasps> Look at the chaos. I'm gonna mask the areas right now where I don't want any glue to go. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of fine grain sandpaper because um, I'm afraid the glue won't adhere to the polyurethane. <sighs> okay, got my glue. I better not mess it up. I'm just gonna coat the whole top layer first. I think a, a thin layer is gonna be best, but it, the thinner it is, the faster you have to go because it's gonna dry. I'm not gonna do the bottom yet because it, when, then when I put it in, it's gonna get all gross. Bone folding and just kind of getting everything right into place. And I think, I think we're good here. I think I did it. I creased all the corners. Everything fit just exactly like it should because I used math. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Now this time I'm gonna have to lift it and put the glue and I'm just gonna do each side one at a time. I think I need to peel the mask off now because what if it got glued down? That would be bad. 
It's hopefully gonna look good with a light inside of it. Here I am at Amy's house. This situation is a little sketchy, just a bare wire leading into the wall where a sconce used to be. Uh, make sure to turn off the light when you're working with electronics. I love it. I love it so much. I, I honestly just I know you know how to make things.